Hey everybody, I'm Dinosaur George and I know some things about dinosaurs because since I was little, that's what I study. In fact, I love them so much, I travel all over the country with a traveling dinosaur exhibit and maybe one day I'll get the chance to see you when you come in and meet all of my amazing friends. Of all the dinosaurs I have, there is one that is called the king, and that's Tyrannosaurus rex. The two questions I get from everybody is, why is it called the king of the dinosaurs, and its teeth are the size of a banana? That's what I hear all the time. Well, first let me tell you why it's called the king. Because the name Tyrannosaurus rex means tyrant lizard king. Those are Latin words. Tyrannosaurus rex are three words tyrant lizard king. It will always be the king of the dinosaurs, even though there's some meat eaters that are larger than Tyrannosaurus rex, it's still going to be called the king. And by the way, T-Rex and Tyrannosaurus rex are the same animal. Tyrannosaurus rex is its real name, T-Rex is its nickname. So are its teeth the size of a banana like everybody says? I see it in books, I hear it from people, Well, the answer is they're even bigger than a banana. You see, when you look at the tooth of a Tyrannosaurus rex when you see it in the skull, it doesn't look that long. That's not the length of a banana. Well, that's because you're not looking at the root. The root is the long part that fits up in the jaw. Our teeth have roots, so does T-Rex. So if you could see through the bone, what you would see is way up inside is the root. So the tooth is actually 12 inches long. I've got a project for you. Look around the house, find a tape measure, and see if you can find something in your house that is 12 inches long. And when you do, then you'll realize just how big that tooth is. The other amazing thing about T-Rex, their teeth are sort of like the teeth of a shark. They fall out, a new tooth grows back over and over and over. We find more T-Rex teeth than T-Rex skeletons. Why? Because it loses hundreds of teeth in its life. It only loses its skeleton once. And that's not a good thing when that happens. So, when you see the tooth of a Tyrannosaurus Rex, I want you to remember, yes, it is the size of a banana, but that's when you count the root. Stan, Sue, Y-Rex, Z-Rex? What are those names? Well, do you know every T-Rex gets its own name? This one is Stan, and they all look different. That's like you and I. We're the same species, but we all look a little different. Do you know the same thing happens with Tyrannosaurus rex? Every skull looks very different. They would have been able to recognize individuals. Well, we give them names so that we can recognize who we're talking about. This dinosaur, Tyrannosaurus rex is named Stan. A bigger one than this was one named Sue. You might have heard of Sue. So when you hear us talk about the names of them, each specimen gets its own name or number so that scientists know who they are. Looking at this dinosaur, it looks different than the one I just showed you, but they're both Tyrannosaurus rexes. They all had different faces, they all have the same equipment, that's these giant teeth. So if you see pictures of Tyrannosaurus rex and you wanna know why it looks different than another T-Rex, it's because they were all individuals just like you and I. Not all meat eaters are created equally. They're different sizes, but they're all related. This is the skull of Eoraptor a tiny little meat eater, one of the first meat eating dinosaurs. Now, it had the sharp teeth like all of its later ancestors, but it was tiny. Well, you can see compared to this dinosaur, they don't look anything alike, and yet they are related. This is a dinosaur called Saurophaganax. It lived millions of years before Tyrannosaurus rex. So this is sort of like Tyrannosaurus rex's great, 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 great grandparent. Now, Saurophaganax, just like a little Eoraptor, would have been very dangerous for their time. They were carnivores, they were relatively fast, this one much faster than this one, but you can look by the shape and the size, it doesn't look exactly like a T-Rex, because it's not a T-Rex, it's an earlier ancestor. So my young friends, if you want to be a paleontologist and study more about dinosaurs, here's my advice to you. Practice your reading, practice your math. 
We use math and paleontology a lot. And if you become good at both of those and you want to join me, you can come on board with us and travel with this amazing world of dinosaurs.